Peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Dr. Bobby Price, and today I'm going to share with you the reason why your vitamin D levels are low, and it doesn't have anything to do with your sun exposure, okay, or how much sun you're getting. Now, I know, I know that sounds a little bit contradictory because when you look at back at other videos, especially during the summer, I was preaching and pleading with you guys to get some sun get some sun get some sun you need to get your vitamin d levels up get your vitamin d stores up for the winter okay which is essential okay what you should be doing but i'm going to explain to you why your vitamin d levels are low when you get the sun but you still are having issues okay your vitamin d levels are still low and here's why that's so important because a lot of people overlook and think that vitamin D isn't that important. And it's really important to know, first of all, as I always say, vitamin D is actually not a vitamin. It's actually a hormone, which means that it's even more important than we know. This is a hormone, not just a vitamin, okay? Not just a vital mineral. That's the first thing. The other thing is most people don't know that vitamin D is the immune system modulator. It is essentially like the general of the of an army or a military, all right? There's different branches of the military. You got the Marines, you got the Navy, you got the Army, you know, you got Navy SEALs, you got the Coast Guard, you got different sort of branches of this military, which is designed to protect, right? All right? The same thing with your immune system. You got white blood cells, you got the lymphatic system, okay? You also have macrophages, all right? You got NK cells, all right? All of these things are very important in your defense. Now, here's why vitamin D is important because vitamin D is modulating, it's controlling that internal system, all right? So it's, it's determining, hey, go fight that virus. Hey, go fight that parasite. Hey, go fight that cancer hugely important. Otherwise, you don't even see the virus, the cancer, or the parasite, or the bacteria. Hugely important. They can cloak themselves, all right? When you don't have a general, when you don't have a modulator, as in vitamin D, like the remote for TV, all right? So it's an immune system modulator. Why is that important? Because that's what's going to fight off cancer. So when you have uh, low vitamin D levels, you're gonna have an increased risk for cancer. You're gonna have an increased risk for also autoimmune conditions, lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's, the list goes on and on. That's why the first thing I do when somebody has an autoimmune condition or somebody has some sort of infection or somebody has cancer, the first thing I ask them is, tell me what your vitamin D levels are. Then we go into the whole gut issue because 70 to 80% of your immune system is made in your gut. That's why these two go hand in hand, all right? Hugely important. If you have a low vitamin D levels, guess what? You're gonna have an increased risk for pregnancy complications, infertility, all right? Increased risk for high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. Vitamin D is absolutely essential. You're gonna have an increased risk for bone fractures and bone disease, all right? Which is a huge issue in the elderly population with bone fractures and hip fractures. It's one of the leading causes of mortality for our elderly community, all right? So vitamin D is essential. I don't know if your physician has told you how important it is, but now that you know how important it is, now what I'm gonna do is explain to you why your vitamin D levels are low despite you getting sun exposure or you taking a supplement, all right? You took the supplement, you got in the sun, but your vitamin D levels are still low. Here's why, okay? One, you wore sunscreen. <laughs> that is an oxymoron. You can't, all right, especially if you are melanated copper tone like myself, this right here blocks some of the sun in and of itself. All right, so that's the first thing. 70 to 80% of people who are melanated 
will have vitamin D deficiency. All right. So and it's because we're too far above the equator. All right. We are grew and evolved around the equator. So we're supposed to have sun year round. So if you're above the latitude of Atlanta, all right, you're going to have you have a high propensity for having vitamin D deficiency. All right. And then on top of that, you're wearing sunscreen, which is blocking even more of the sun. And on top of that is loaded with toxins like titanium dioxide or triclosan or oxybenzone, which are also cancerous. These are chemicals that are cancerous. <laughs> so if they're cancerous, they're going to compromise your immune system. All right. So that's the first reason. All right. Number two, you have parasites. Parasites will actually interfere with the absorption and also the metabolism of vitamin D, which we'll get into in just a second. But if you have parasites in your body, parasites, you got to understand, parasites and viruses have been evolving and been around for longer than we have. And so they have taught themselves how to fight against our immune system. And what better way to fight against our immune system so that they can exist as a parasite or a virus than to go after the vitamin D, the modulator, the general, go after the head. All right, so parasites, you probably have parasites. If you're getting the sun exposure and you're taking a supplement and you're eating the foods, yes. All right, number two, liver toxicity. What most people don't know is that your vitamin D, when you get exposure to the sun and it's then converted into the body, guess where that vitamin D is converted into the active form? It's first converted in the liver, okay? All right, so if you have liver toxicity issues or liver issues, you're going to have problems with the conversion of vitamin D to its active form. And 40% of the population has fatty liver disease. And we don't test everybody. If we tested everybody the same way we, we tested everybody for high blood pressure when they came in for their checkups, then I guarantee you that number would probably be 60 to 70% 70, 70 of people who have liver, fatty liver disease. All right, so that's really, really important. If you got a sluggish liver or a fatty liver or a toxic liver, you're going to have issues with converting vitamin D into its active form, okay? Because when it comes through sunlight, it has to be converted, all right? Hugely important. And one of the places that is converted is in our liver. The place that is converted before that, all right, leading me to another reason why your vitamin D levels are low and it has nothing to do with supplementation or your sun exposure is magnesium deficiency. When the sunlight hits your skin, in your skin, in the dermis layer, okay, that sunlight is converted, okay? But you have to have magnesium to be able to do that in the skin. And 80% of the population is actually deficient in magnesium, okay? You don't eat enough green leafy vegetables. You don't eat enough vegetables, period, okay? So 80% of the population is deficient in magnesium. So it lends to say if 80% are deficient in magnesium, even if you get the sun, all right, you won't have the magnesium to convert it. Hugely important as well, too. All right, so that's another reason. Another reason is kidney dysfunction or a sluggish kidney or an acidic kidney. Now, that, that sounds like an oxymoron because the kidneys filter the blood and they ultimately will filter acid out. That's why they call it urine or uric acid. Okay, so the kidneys are getting rid of the acid, but if it's too much acid in the kidneys because of your diet, because you love the toxic foods and the toxic drinks, then guess what? Your kidneys aren't going to be able to convert that vitamin D that was converted before in the liver. It has to be converted again in the kidneys. Okay, so if you got kidney issues, and listen, you can go to your doctor, get tested, they can look at your GFR, they can look at your serum creatinine, everything can look good. But if your kidneys aren't highly functioning and they're missing certain nutrients, you won't be able to convert that vitamin D. That could be another reason why your vitamin D levels just won't go up, okay? Another big reason, <laughs> another big reason, because you have too much body fat. 
75% of the American population is either overweight or obese. The more body fat you have, that fat will absorb all of your vitamin D and it won't release out to be converted to the active form to be used for your immune system. See, most of the vitamin D is stored in the tissues, the muscles, and then they're stored in fat. But if you have too much fat, too much of your vitamin D will be stored in that because the fat is literally sucking the vitamin D out of the system. You won't have enough in circulation. If you don't have enough in circulation, it can assist the immune system. So you got to lose some of that body fat. Next time you go in, get your body fat. For ladies, I do believe if it's over 22, then you need to get that down. Okay? For the fellas, I do believe if it's over 17, 18, you need to get it down in that range. All right? And if you're really wanting to get it at a really good range, I will say around 15% for, for the males out there. All right? That's a huge reason as well, too. All right? So those are the top reasons that your vitamin D levels are actually low and it has nothing to do with supplementation. You could be taking all the supplements you want or all the sun you want, okay? If you're doing those things, your vitamin D levels will be low, which means that you will be at an increased risk for autoimmune conditions. You'll be at an increased risk for bone fractures and brittle teeth, okay? You'll be at an increased risk for cancer, okay? You'll be at an increased risk for pregnancy complications and you've got an increased risk for cardiovascular disease and high blood pressure, all right? So get those things corrected. Remember, when I tell you the problem, all you got to do is reverse engineer, and now you got the solution, all right? So please share this video with someone, all right? This was my gift to you, free gift, free information. You pay it forward. Share this video with somebody. Share it with your family. Especially, I mean, vitamin D is an issue for everybody, but especially for people who are highly melanated. It is a big issue for you. Many of the issues that we have in our community around dialysis, kidney disease, all of these things are centered around your lack of vitamin D and your lack of standards when it comes to food. All right, hugely important. So please share this video. If you have not joined the family, hit that subscribe button down there. Go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Costs you nothing. Gives me everything. All right. Go ahead and hit that like button. And remember, this is the kind of information that can change lives. It's the simple things that we need to change. All right. Until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed. Take care.